Hi to all, welcome to Ram's Android Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to work with multi autocomplete text view. In last tutorial, we have discussed autocomplete text view. So, autocomplete text view is like a edit text, but whenever you are typing the data, it is auto completing the text, whatever you are entering. But the data we need to store before. Uh, executing the application means in the development time we need to keep the data in from the data only it is going to display in the autocomplete coming to the multi autocomplete text view in autocomplete you can select only one word but coming to the multi autocomplete text view you can select multiple here words means uh, and technically we are going to call them items now let us see how we are going to work it out First of all, I have created the project multi auto complete text view. Here, in XML file, we are taking multi auto complete text view widget multi auto complete text view. You can see the preview here, and we need to take a ID. width I am taking match parent and we are not taking the text and uh, instead of the text we are taking hint and we are giving the countries to select so uh, enter country name that is our multi auto complete text view now coming to the java first of all the view name is multi auto complete text view so we need to call the reference of the multi auto complete text view in on create method so multi auto complete text view equal to need to call the find you by method and we are going to call the reference of the multi auto complete text view next we need to have a data here and uh, the data we are taking from the blog my blog so just uh, type RAM standard for all blogspot and in the search bar search auto complete text view. just open this auto complete text view post here you can see one array is there which is having all the country names so we are taking this array fine so this is the array contains all the country names next we need to create an object for the array adapter Array adapter, <coughs> the type of the data is a string, adapter equal to new array adapter, first one we need to pass the context value, so I am saying this, next one is the text view resource id, so we are taking from the android package, predefined one, android dot or dot layout dot, simple underscore list underscore item one, next the data is uh, countries. Next, we need to set the adapter to the multi auto complete text view. So, multi auto complete text view dot set adapter of adapter. But after selecting one item in the text view, this multi auto complete text view, we need to get comma and we are able to select one more item. That's why in the multi auto complete text view class, we need to call the method set tokenizer. In that, you need to create an object for the class called new comma tokenizer class. Now you can run the application so that we can check that output. Now 
Now I am entering the name first two letters I and you will see in that particular array what we have taken which country's first word or second word or starting with the I and it is showing. After selecting one item you see we got comma and you can select another one. You see the list to K. So this is called multi auto complete text view. If you want to get the data from this multi auto complete text view same like every text just you can use the method get text in to string method. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my video you can subscribe my channel and you can find the code in the below description. I am going to keep the link of my blog. There you can find out this code. And in, in and sorry, and uh, in my blog, we can find so many examples here. Just need to log into ramsandredforall.blogspot.in. Thank you for watching.